I just sneezed right before. <laughs> I sneezed half a second ago, so I'm like, hi. All right, we have a new Sonic trailer. Actually, a new Sonic trailer. I, we could call it the first Sonic trailer. It's the first real Sonic trailer and the first real look at Sonic the Hedgehog as Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm in my normal attire of fucks given because I give a fuck. Actually, I do care about this one. I was one of the YouTube assholes that kind of piled on me. Hey, he kind of looks stupid. And they were like, okay, cool. We'll fix him, which... I gotta give them props for that. So many people just go like, oh, well, whatever, fans. What do you know? I mean, our executives, we had a room full of minds who do corporate marketing behind this character design. What do you know that they don't know except the entirety of the character? They were like, cool, all right, we'll do that, which is great for fans. I think great for them. It'll be great for them in the sense that maybe people will like the movie, maybe they won't. But I know most people would hate the movie simply based on the original character design if they had just stubbornly kept it. So props to them and props to everyone who most likely worked overtime to give Sonic the Hedgehog the character design that actually looks like Sonic the Hedgehog. And he does, he does look like Sonic the Hedgehog. He no longer looks like a kid who landed on the wrong square of Jumanji and turned into that. Blue abomination? What does that mean? What am I going to turn into? What am I? He actually looks like Sonic the Hedgehog. And I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't hate the trailer. I had fun with it. Maybe it's because the new and improved character design, we'll call it the more accurate character design, just helped bring me into it. But I feel like this trailer had more fun. It had more personality. It's, all right, nothing's going to change the fact that it is Sonic the Hedgehog who finds a portal to our world because it's a video game adaptation, so it feels it has to do that. But Sonic was cool. He was cocky. He's playing games by himself. We've all done that. Who hasn't played those tabletop games by themselves because they got no one else to play with? None of you? Well, this is awkward. But the movie seems to have that, oh, brought to a world that's completely foreign to me, fish out of water feeling, kind of like, you know, Wonder Woman or Crocodile Dundee. But they kind of have that Flash spin on it, you know? They're having fun with the speedster powers. Either Flash or Quicksilver, I don't know, they have references to both. It's like E.T. if E.T. had the powers of the Flash. Ooh, plot twist, James Marston in this movie. He's actually Elliot all grown up, only in headcanon, I suppose. Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik, even in the first trailer with the speedy monstrosity, even in that first trailer it was like, yeah, but Jim Carrey as Robotnik might be cool. But yeah, I had fun with this movie. It might be rule of contrast working right here. Rule of contrast is like when you have such a deep contrast between two examples, the second example will look more extreme based on the initial example. Like, hey, you just won $1 million. I did? No, you actually won $100,000. I mean, $100,000 is no joke. Anyone can use that, but sized up against the million dollars you thought you just had that you just found out you didn't have, it might be more disappointing than if someone was just like, hey, you won $10,000. I did? No, you just won a hundred thousand dollars now it seems just insane rule of contrast so when you give us an initial sonic trailer with the blue douche face then a second trailer that completely fixes it up and now he looks like sonic the hedgehog that second one's gonna seem miles more entertaining possibly more entertaining now because we got the first trailer with that first Sonic face. But point is I'm entertained by the trailer. I had fun with the trailer and I'm glad they fixed the character design. And I'll be there to watch this movie. I kind of got to see the saga through. All right, so the new Sonic the Hedgehog trailer. Have you seen it? What did you think about it? And what do you think of the fixed character design? Whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.